So it's no longer news that we take body care seriously on this channel and today I'm going to be giving you 3 plus 3 body lotions and body oil combinations that you need for your skin type. Remember we covered the complexion series around this time, I think two weeks ago or last week, but this week I want to give you 3 plus 3 body oils and body lotions combinations for your skin type. Now remember these are my top shelf recommendations. I am not in any way telling you that this is a one size fits all. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, then of course continue to watch. So my recommendations are affordable, easy to find, and of course, effective. Remember again, affordable, easy to find, and of course, effective. So if you've been in the comment section, like most people are, and you've been saying, Enola, I understand my skin type, I know my complexion, but I need you to give me like laser focused recommendations for my exact skin type and complexion. So that when I go to the store, I know exactly what I'm looking for. This video is for you. Sis, if you found something that works for you and your skin loves it, please, you don't have to watch this video. You don't have to take my advice. I always say this all the time and I always give this disclaimer because I still find some people trying to disagree with me. Uh, uh, openly criticize me in a very negative way i don't encourage toxicity on this channel please if you found something that works for you carry on with your current product list and your routine and i wish you all the best but if you're here you're trying to save time energy and effort when it comes to what you want to get for your skin type whenever you're at the store then this video is for you okay so the first thing we need to talk about is application how do you apply your body oils and your body lotions together are you supposed to be mixing it no you are not on this channel if you are a new subscriber you don't know anything about body care says we have a rule of thumb here we do not pour our body oils into our body lotions because of three things number one it will make it go rancid rancid as in sports like visibly sports physically sports like you would not be able to get any benefit out of it two it makes both products that's the oil and the lotion ineffective and I will tell you why. The lotion is a water-based formula while the oil is an oil-based formula. So if you mix vegetable oil and water, for example, in your house, in your kitchen, does it mix together? No, it doesn't. So don't think that by mixing it together, you are doing your own personal formulation and it will work for you. It might not work for you. No, it won't work for you. So as a rule of thumb on this channel, we go in with the body lotion first. Remember, you're supposed to use something that is hydrating and moisturizing and I'll be covering that in today's video But you use your body lotion first and then you will not top it with your body oil First, what would happen is that your skin will readily absorb the body lotion Receive it into its skin cells and all the good stuff, okay? And then you will now use the body oil as the last thing in your body care routine to seal up the moisture and to ensure that your skin looks even toned and blended So that is the trick to it that is the rule of thumb that we have on this channel when it comes to application so the first combination i want to give you is for dry sensitive skin so that means your skin is dry it gets easily irritated it gets uh, easily triggered by allergic reactions irritation redness you just notice that you can't get away with most things that most people get away with when it comes to using body care products this combination is for you and i'm talking about the avino daily moisturizing oil mist and the Eucerin Advanced Repair Body Lotion. These two combo, one here, one here. Now, I will tell you why I chose these two in particular for your dry sensitive skin. So if you take the Avino Daily Oil Moisturizing Mist, for example, its key ingredients, like I always tell you guys to check, is oats and ooba oil. So these two ingredients, what does it offer your skin? Oats, for example, helps to calm irritation, soothe redness, uh, stop inflammation from being triggered on the surface of your skin, and of course, reduce the risk at which you get irritation when it comes to your skin, okay? Now, this makes oats a very good um, addition to your skin routine or as an ingredient to your skin routine because it is going to soothe irritated skin, soothe inflammation, soothe redness, and of course, it contains a lot of vitamin E and naturally occurring ceramides that strengthens your skin barrier. So you can see why oats is a very good addition if your skin is dry, rough, and sensitive. Now, oba oil works 
together with this oats in this particular body oil because it helps to attract hydration to your skin epidermal layer hence allowing your skin to stay maximally hydrated for a long period of time now these two combination in this particular oil makes it the perfect one for you if your skin is dry rough and sensitive remember dry rough and sensitive okay so you will get this particular oil and then you will get the eucerin advanced repair body lotion first of all let's talk about how incredibly great the quantity of this body lotion is it comes in 500 ml comes in 500 ml last for a long period of time even if you use it for like two to three months you will still get a lot of use from it and then secondly it is equipped with ceramide 3 which also helps to maintain your skin's moisture barrier and keep your skin hydrated and moisturized for a long period of time now if you follow the advice that i gave you earlier and you use the eucerin advanced repair body lotion first okay and you allow it to absorb into your skin followed by the um avino daily moisturizing all mist you'll be getting the best of both worlds because you are getting ceramide here vitamin e and the two together would make it the best suited combination for your dry sensitive skin that is why i chose this particular combination for you now like i always say if your skin is hydrated moisturized pampered and your skin's moisture barrier is not damaged trust me number one thing that will happen to you is that your skin is going to become even toned your skin is going to have a very glowing radiance to it and of course your skin is going to have a naturally appealing appearance to it so these three things will happen if you are using the combination that is best suited for your skin type now the second combination is for oily skin and i'm talking about the neutrogena body oil and of course the vaseline intensive skincare range now any body lotion that you have that contains aloe vera works instead of this vaseline particular one that i'm talking about so whether it's saint ives that has aloe vera any brand that you know that has aloe vera you can get it and that's because we are talking about something for oily skin now the reason why you need to make sure that what you're using for your oily skin is mostly water-based and lightweight is because your skin is already oily oil has a natural weight to it that makes you feel like your skin uh, you will feel like there is something when you use a body lotion that is heavy in weight that means it is very rich it's a rich creamy formula you will feel its effect you will feel its heaviness on the surface of your skin because your skin is oily however but if you use something that is water-based and lightweight in texture okay it will easily absorb into your skin you won't be hearing things like oh i don't like using body lotion on my skin because it makes my skin feel very very sweaty and greasy that's because you're using a lotion that is too heavy that is too rich for your oily skin okay now the one i want to talk about today is this vaseline aloe vera intensive care one it contains aloe vera that makes it perfect for oily skin because aloe vera is a natural skin humectant it would add moisture to your skin it's super lightweight it will help the skin to maintain its moisture for a long period of time it draws moisture to the skin surface and allows your skin to have a very beautiful cushion feel to it so this lotion is very very good if your skin is oily now let's talk about the body oil for oily skin and i'm talking about the neutrogena sesame seed sesame seed body oil now when i saw sesame seed when i was doing my research i'm like okay why would the manufacturer use this body oil like this is the principal ingredient in this oil and i will tell you why that is because sesame seed is not only lightweight as a seed in itself even the oil that is secret and that is extracted from the seed is also lightweight but guess what that it is lightweight does not mean it is not going to be effective it is super effective at protecting the skin from ultraviolet damage to the skin cells so sesame seed when you apply it on your skin's epidermis on your skin surface like this it penetrates into your skin cells to protect and add an extra layer of protection for your skin from ultraviolet damage that's both aging rays and burning rays so think of you using your body oil and you're also getting some protection benefits but not only that it is super lightweight adds hydration to the skin helps the skin to feel supple without feeling greasy so if you ask me if your skin is oily and you have difficulty in getting body oils that does not add weight to your skin's natural uh weight you like you feel like oh i don't want to use body oil because i don't like that greasy sweaty feel 
this Neutrogena sesame seed oil is the best one for you. Now, combine it with any aloe vera infused body lotion that you can find. I'm not asking you to get this particular one for Vaseline. No, no, no. You can get any aloe vera infused body lotion and your skin is going to love it. Why? Because both the oil and the lotion are lightweight, penetrates into the skin, will offer you maximum hydration without you feeling greasy or sweaty. Normal to combination skin normal to combination skin and this is my own category that means if your skin is neither dry nor oily you're just in between this particular combination is best for you now it's easy to find it's affordable and it's effective i'm talking about the palmas cocoa butter oil i know and of course the medics body lotion range now you can choose whether it's the vitamin c one or the one with collagen or whichever one from medics that you can find but i am choosing the one with collagen and elastin and caviar now I'll, i'm going to explain to you why i chose this particular lotion okay but first let's touch up on the palmas cocoa butter body oil and that's because number one the key ingredient in this body oil is cocoa butter now the reason why we are choosing this oil is because it is a medium weight formula now because your skin is normal to combination spectrum your skin gets easily dry and sometimes it can be oily so you need something in between not too lightweight and not too heavyweight not too greasy not too sweaty you need something that is medium weight that will stay on the surface of your skin giving you that blending evening skin tone effect that's why we are going for the palmas cocoa butter Cocoa butter has very beautiful skin softening benefits, skin soothing benefits, inflammatory benefits, antioxidant benefits. I can't begin to tell you all its incredible benefits. But the reason why we chose it again, if you've been finding it difficult to find any of the body oils that I always mention individually, go and get the Palmas Cocoa Butter. Now, if you also have stretch marks in odd areas like me, I have stretch marks on the top of my boobs and sometimes around my hip area, then you are going to also like the Palmas Cocoa Butter body oil because it is very good for fading stretch marks. Now, secondly, let's touch up on the Medics 5.5 body lotion range. I'm talking about the one with collagen, peptides, and caviar. Now, collagen and peptides helps to boost skin elastin and youthfulness so that means your skin's aging process is going to be slowed down you will have a very youthful radiance and compelling appearance to your skin okay your skin will not have that visible wrinkly feeling that most people have when they start hitting their 30s and their 40s because you are using a body lotion that has a lot of collagen and elastin inside it now you might decide not to take my advice and use any body lotion that has brightening benefits and stuff kudos to you sis but at this particular age where i'm at i want the aging process of my body to match my face my face i use a lot of skin hydrating products to just maintain its youthfulness for a long period of time i don't want a situation whereby i will be getting a body lotion that all it would be doing is to brighten up my skin no you don't want to get a body lotion that would just be brightening up your skin you want to get a lotion that is equipped with enough antioxidants to simulate uh, uh, your skin's collagen so that it will stay youthful for a long period of time now the vitamin c uh lotion from medics is also a very good option if you can find it i know it's very very scarce in case you don't find the medics 5.5 collagen and caviar uh body lotion this one here you can get the saint ives elastin and collagen infused body lotion right here that's why we are matching this lotion with that body oil together so those are my top three recommendations and combinations for you if your skin is dry and sensitive oily or normal to combination spectrum i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you fall under this particular skin type or your skin type is any of the three that i've just mentioned let me know your thoughts in the comment section and which body lotion and oil combination are you currently using i would like to hear from you thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one Bye. you guys don't always want to hear about my glam so i'm just going to feel myself in from front of the camera i can't talk i'm just going to feel myself in front of the camera because the makeup today was really really beautiful and the hair is giving it's giving look at the curls look at the layers of oh, the girl is fine hello